video is about robot adjustments against the wall, such as following the wall and aligning against the wall. So, if we just did this, so this block, it just makes our robot go straight, then that wouldn't be perfect. So what we want to do is follow against the wall, which we would do by making the power of one of the motors greater. So we made the power of our left motor greater, so that it will push against the wall to stay on. So we did that using move tank. You could also do that using the move steering block. So here's some pictures to visualize what we mean. So over here, it comes in at an angle, but as we turn against the wall, that angle decreases, and but the robot still stays on the wall the whole time. So that's what we want to do. So for aligning against the wall, let's say you're done following the wall and you turn outside and you want to be perpendicular to the wall. So you want to go back so you can be perpendicular to the wall. So here are some pictures. You come in back at an angle and as you go straight back, the robot, straight, the robot straightens itself out against the wall and over here you're perpendicular at the end. So make sure when you're doing this to do it for to go back for seconds. Make this on for seconds. So put it for time, not degrees or rotations. So that so over here we made it three seconds. So after the three seconds, the robot will stop this for sure. Because otherwise, if we did it for degrees, then it would keep going and it will never end because the wall is in the way of getting those specific numbers of degrees. So that's why we always do it for seconds. Another way to align against the wall using touch sensors. So imagine that you have a robot with two touch sensors, one on either side of the robot. So one on the left side and one on the right side. So what we're doing in this program is we're so we have the two touch sensors here. So when they're both being pressed, then you stop the loop, which is how long you the robot's moving. So basically what it's doing is the robot is moving backwards until both of the buttons are pressed. So when both of the buttons are pressed, that would mean that it has touched the wall right over here. And it's exactly parallel against the wall. If it wasn't parallel, if only if it was tilted to one side, then only one button would be pressed, either one. But it has both of them have to be pressed. So this saves us a tiny amount of time um, against the other program, because then it immediately terminates right when it touches it. It doesn't have to go the full three seconds or whatever. But make sure that it so it requires both touch sensors, one on either side so make sure you have both touch sensors that's all for the video thanks for watching